Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my new makeup bag. As you saw in my Ulta haul, I got a new makeup bag. So I transferred my makeup over to another bag and I kind of dumped some new stuff. I mean, some old stuff, brought in some new stuff that I'm going to try, put it in my bag. So I wanted to show you guys the amount of stuff that actually fits in this bag. If you got this bag at Ulta as well, or if you just got it from somewhere else, then yeah, I wanted to show you guys how much it could actually hold. So yeah, if you want to see what is in my makeup bag, then okay, just keep So watching. this is what the bag looks like. Like it says, I wake up for makeup and it pretty much just fits in my hand. Here is my hand compared to the bag so you can see the size. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start taking stuff out of here. So the first thing that I have on top, itchy nose, are my brushes. And they are just like my go-to brushes there is one brush that cannot fit in here because it's way too big um but first i have my sigma e40 brush this is just my go-to blending brush all day every day i need a new one it's like four years old but that's okay it's still going strong favorite brush ever my contour brush the real techniques blush brush i think this is the blush brush i don't know um but i use it for contouring because as you can see the shape it just fits right in those hollows of your cheekbones so that fits in there i have my phenomenal beauty eyeliner brush that i use for my eyebrows and this is literally the best brush ever for eyebrows I will always keep this brush um so that fits in there and then i just have a regular flat eyeshadow brush for the lid in there and that fits in there so my current makeup that i'm using at the moment is my milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation this fits in there this is pretty big this is one fluid ounce pretty big it's pretty heavy so i was really shocked that this actually fits in there because the bag is pretty thin um and it's not very like stretchy so that fits in there i have my favorite l'oreal paris hydrofuge voluminous carbon black mascara this is the best mascara i've ever used in my entire life i love this mascara that fits in there i have my little Too faced hangover x face primer this is just the mini one because i don't i use primer but then i don't i don't i personally don't see a difference when it's just regular makeup on my face versus when there's primer underneath it i don't see a difference i know it's better for your skin if you use a primer which is what gets me to use a primer so i have that in there then i have the tarte smooth operator amazonian clay tinted pressed powder this i have not tried yet but i'm really hoping i like it so i can keep it in my makeup bag and start using this instead of my airspun i love airspun it is a great powder but it is just so messy that is the only thing i have with it is that it's just so stinking messy and i can't stand it sometimes so yeah there's this that i'm really obsessed with and i can't wait to try it and then I have my highlighter that I'm obsessing with right recently. That is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. I have said this a million times. This is a really, really, really good dupe for Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop. So if you're in love with Champagne Pop but you can't really afford it, go to the drugstore and try out Maybelline's Molten Gold Highlighter. It'll be really, really worth it, I promise. Then we have the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This stuff is a dream. It smells like a dream. I can't express to you guys enough how much I actually really do love this bronzer. Um, this is what I've been using every single day since I bought it. I haven't really been using my Tarte. I haven't been using Anastasia. I haven't been using anything but this guy. So again, highly suggest you check that out. Then I have my brow product, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um ash brown dip brow pomade this little guy right here again this this stuff is a dream if you guys are in the market for 
a good brow product and you're looking high-end I would go with Anastasia this stuff sticks like glue my eyebrows don't budge during the day then I snuck in the LA Girl Pro Conceal for cream contouring because I am determined to cream contour every day. I know it takes time, but I'm determined to do it because I like how it looks. Then we have our mini little Tarte blush in the color Party. I love this blush um, a little bit goes such a long way so please use it sparingly if you do have it um, which is what I really like because this little guy is gonna last me a pretty long time and then I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in here haven't tried this yet I'm sure I'm gonna love it but yeah I put this in here because this I'm hoping is going to be my go-to so I'll already have that in there and last but not least, my tried and true, my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the color Black Noir. And this stuff is just a dream. $2.99 at the drugstore for like the most perfect eyeliner you'll ever use in your entire life. So yeah, that's everything in the bag. So I want to count it all and put it back in there. So we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think that's it. Fifteen. Fifteen products. It's about what I could fit in this little pouch. Now, I had these organized a certain way. <laughs> they have to be organized a certain way to fit in here. That's another thing. You have to organize it to make it fit. So what I would do is put all the things that can lay flat on the bottom. And then everything that's rounded, I put together actually if I do that I can actually fit a lipstick 16 okay maybe not the lipstick I take it back take it back Perfect. So 15 products, you guys. Boom. 15 products in here. And it's actually a pretty, like, good sturdy bag. I'm really excited that I have a new bag because mine was looking really, really ratchet. But yeah, that is what is in my new makeup bag. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it inspired you to go out and probably try some new products. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post a new video. I don't think I have anything else to say except I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!